Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing something a little different. This is the Concorde Event Simulator. What this is, is a pretty neat little uh, tool that we have to simulate some of our older events, even those that uh, you may not have played in the past. I'm going to go ahead and re remove this file because I'm these are starting to get in the way a little bit. Um, but as you can see, if I click on new file here, I can select from everything from the very first event, which is the one I'm going to start with, Spring 2013, all the way down to Late Golf Part 1, Fall 2017. So um, you can also do some Phase 1 classic maps, so that option is available. Uh, but this I thought would be a neat series of videos to do in between events uh, to showcase what some of the older events look like as well as um, appreciate what some of the changes since that time have been. So if I click on this, uh, it would actually open a new file for me. I can explain very quickly how exactly this works. So you do need KC3. Like no matter what, you need to have KC3 because the files that get extracted from the uh, KC3 extension are what you use to uh, work with the simulator. There's no way you can use this just like you're playing the game normally, so you do need to have an actual game file on KC3. And you can go ahead and choose the file. It'll open to the right, uh, you're gonna have to navigate to the correct folder, but it will go to a place where you can select these profile data packs. Now where you get those is right here on your KC3 profile. If we scroll down, you're going to want to hit export basic profile. Now that's going to pull your info, your fleet, ships, equipment, um, configurations you have for the game, all that kind of good stuff. If I do this, and I'm going to show you just to give you an idea of how this works. You can select a couple of different settings, like you can disable unreleased ships, you can disable unreleased equipment, so when I go through this file, I'm not going to have any of the new stuff that came in uh, post this event. I can also select mechanics, which I'm going to be on initial for this event. I'm going to try to keep things as close to the original event as possible, uh, which means I'm not going to have things like artillery spotting. Opening ASW, proficiency, no cut-ins for anti-air, no improvements, none of this good stuff that's been added in since the beginning of um, the game. I'm going to go ahead and select choice for difficulty selection because I do like to have uh, that available for later um, events. It doesn't matter so much for this one because uh, selection didn't exist yet. But that is something I like to leave, or I'm going to be leaving, especially for later events once we have difficulty selection. Now we can also do these, disable ship locks and disable Elbass. Of course that's irrelevant for this event because it's so far, um, so far back in terms of how long this game's been out. But you can choose all of these parameters. I mean, you could unclick these and go at this with an entire arsenal of ships. I have all of them, so that would include every ship possible in the game, along with every possible piece of new equipment, but I don't think that would be very interesting for this event. Just saying that uh, with everything we have now, I don't think it'd be very interesting. It'd be a steamroll, and it wouldn't be very fun to watch. So I'm going to back out. Don't need to create a new file for this. Or... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this menu if it allows me to. Okay, maybe it's not going to. So I'm going to go ahead and click through this real quick. And just hit done. And it'll give you everything. Now, I have it set up on that other file. But it does give you all your ships, including like the bunch of level ones you might have sitting there that you haven't scrapped or modernized yet. So you do have a bunch of different options. But I'm going to go ahead and open my other file. There. So, one other thing you may notice is that you don't actually have any resources. All this does is count the amount of resources that you would have used uh, for, well, any sorties that you've done. So there's no re limit on resources or the amount thereof that you're using. Not too bad. You still have supports, those are still active, and you can toggle those on and off. 
Now, as for the compositions that you use for these events, I would suggest going to the wiki. Naturally, very good resource considering it does list all of the old previous events. Granted, for events as early as Spring 2013, it doesn't quite show you anything for like enemy node compositions. Of course, back then there weren't very many foreign players, so Wiki doesn't have very much. It does tell you what you need. Like for E1, I want to use a fleet with six ships, including an AV and two DDs to get to the boss. So I can, of course, go to my event simulator and set that up. I'm going to add a CVL. Once again, this is all that I have at my disposal, not a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up CVL. Uh, go ahead and ignore the KC3 ploy. Just gonna set this up and we'll go through a run. Now of course as I set this up I have no earthly idea what kind of enemies are on this map. So this is kind of just like going in there trying to feel my way through blindly like I was frontlining. But anyway this is the setup that I'm gonna go with. I do know thanks to the wiki over here that there's gonna be some subs so I've left a sonar over here on Hibiki and um, yeah that's gonna be pretty much it. So what I'd like you guys to do in the comment section if it is if you're interested in seeing a lot more of this like I'm gonna go through this first event and release the videos day by day like I've been doing but if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of this um, simulator and some of the old events and how uh, my fleet in particular would do. Go right ahead and leave a comment, let me know. And I'll also put a link in the description to this um, event simul simulator because I think it's a pretty cool thing to mess around with. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the mic. Thank you guys for watching and once again, yeah, like, leave a comment, let me know if you'd like to see more of this because I think this is pretty cool. All I'm gonna go ahead and do is start the sortie. You can change difficulty course it doesn't work here because like I said it didn't exist yet so gonna go ahead and start the sortie what I will say is that it does lack um, some animation so you may not see like the ship sprites popping up when they're attacking but um, I still do think it is a very neat little thing to observe so thank you very much for watching once again and let's begin で全力で戦う。
叩くのさそんな攻撃はダメよ